Alright, we good? Oh, wow, let me, uh... Okay, I think we're good. Oh, do we have Mike? Anybody got a copy? Holy crap, what a bad start to this talk show. Hello? Um, okay, we're good, apparently. So, let's try the intro again. What's going on, guys? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into SC4, with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum 5. Hello. And welcome to another Lombard Bros talk show right here on the Lombard Bros Gaming YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Monday afternoon, Monday evening, wherever you are right now. And uh, hopefully Monday was better for some of you NASCAR fans because we had a race today instead of yesterday because of the weather. But they raced at the Monster Mile today and uh, hope some of you guys got to watch the race earlier today. At the end of it, it was Martin Truex Jr. getting his, getting his second win of the season. And now... <clears throat> Now we're here doing this talk show. So, Zach, what's up? Oh, uh, nothing much today. How about yourself? What? I'm asking, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty well, man. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, I guess. You know? Aren't we both? No. That's why I mean Mentos. This is the only thing that's making me happy right now. <laughs> Just kidding. No. This is, is that Monday suck? My Monday was a little bit better because I had NASCAR. Oh, yeah. Well, of course yours was This better. hasn't been a bad Monday. Hey, you've had bad Mondays, especially two weeks ago. Which, by the way, you got fixed. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. The uh, passenger mirror. You could have had a, that kind of Monday again today. Yeah, true. But you did it. It's been better, you know? Yeah. But, uh, so what was it? A couple weeks ago, you knocked the passenger mirror off your car and then finally got it fixed last week. So, yeah. no more issues since then? No. Good. Good. But, uh, yeah. I can't talk with a mentor in my mouth, man. So, you got anything you want to talk about? Um, so I just hope everybody... Hope everybody's Monday is going well, even though it's Monday, and of course it's the most hated day of the week. But yeah, it's been it's been cloudy outside today. We've had a little bit of rain today too. But what I've heard is that we get lots of rain down in Santa Barbara, as far as we know. Are you having a good time chewing on that Minto? That is disgusting. What? What? There we go. I'm just having a good time, man. Okay? I mean, I'm, I mean, I didn't By say By the way, man. speaking of good time, I hope that... Can you not interrupt me? Sorry. Okay, good. I hope this talk show goes better than last week, because I'm not saying last week's talk show was bad, but I was kind of out of it last week. And you know what's funny? I woke up this morning and I was extremely out of it. I'm thinking, oh, great. That means later on the talk show, I'm going to be out of it again. But I feel fine. I feel better than last Monday, I'll tell you that. Because like I said, last week, last week's talk show, I was out of it. And I think I didn't do a good job last week. So hopefully this week I do a good job. So what were you talking about? To be honest with you, it was like half the time I was not listening to you. Of course you, you were not listening. I was when too busy ever... chewing. When do you ever listen? I was too busy chewing the mental. But couldn't you chew it quietly? No. Of course not. Anyways, today... You know what? They've already listened to what you had to say, so I don't care. Okay. Um, anyways, um, unless... Was there, was there anything important? Uh, no, nothing oh, important okay, right good. now. All right, then I don't care. Because <laughs> they already heard it. But, um, by the way, guys, our guest today is going to be um, k and Pro West Series driver Jagger Jones. Uh, of course, I interviewed <laughs> him one time. Uh, asked one of my Beyond the Wheel interviews um, just a month ago when I was out in Irwindale uh, for the K&N race. Well, he's going to be joining us again today. Well, he's going to be joining us for the first time on this show. So, Jagger Jones, K&N driver, uh, is going to be joining us in just uh, just momentarily. Um, we're going to do phone call instead because um, I asked him... Uh, I, Told him that we do Google Hangouts and apparently he can't get Google to work right now. Oh, really? So we're going to do phone call for him. But uh, so if you guys want to check out uh, Jagger Jones' uh, 
social media. He's got Facebook and a Twitter. Uh, like I said, rookie driver for the NASCAR k series. And uh, what? If that's the case with the phone call, then we need to find something taller here to put, you know, your phone on. Oh. Okay, never mind then. There you go. Just like we did a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Uh, uh, thank you for the one dollar donation. I really appreciate it. Um, so I spoke to Jagger before, um, like a month ago when I was out on there, went down for the K and race, and you know, um, he d he did these late model race stuff, and I asked him, what's the difference between a late driving a late model than a stock car, you know, to a stock car? And he said, oh, it's like a different animal. It's it's the two different style racing. Especially since he's done late mile racing at Irwindale and now uh, his first time just a month ago out there in a stock car. Totally different. He had to learn the track again and just just like he's never raced a race car before, he told me. But um but um <clears throat> but yeah, he'll be joining us today. We'll um obviously if you guys did not watch my interview with Jagger Jones, uh I'll basically kinda ask him the same questions like I asked him. Uh, out in Irwindale, which, by the way, uh, they're getting ready to go to uh, Tucson, Arizona this weekend. Uh, and which, matter of fact, I'm going to be there. So here's my weekend, okay? Right. So I'm leaving Friday morning, uh, heading out to Tucson, Arizona. <coughs> it's it's a nine hour drive, by the way. So <coughs> hey, I wish I could get over this cough, but. Uh, so I'm heading out Friday morning to Tucson. Going to be there for k and practices and stuff Friday night. And then I'll be there all day Saturday at the track for the k and race. And then Sunday, early Sunday morning, I'm flying back um, from Tucson to here. Head back home. And then we got to head out immediately because we're going to a Dodger game. Oh, yeah. This Sunday. And because mom wanted to go to a Dodger game on Mother's Day. So... It's going to be a busy weekend for me. From Friday morning to Sunday night, I feel like I'm going to be nonstop, let's say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm always going to be doing something, except when I'm sleeping through the night. Other than that, I think I'm, I'm going to be doing something or being somewhere. You know what I mean? So, um, it's going to be a busy weekend for me, for sure. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. So... Yeah, so I will be going to Tucson, Arizona for this weekend's NASCAR k and Pro West race out there. And um, then going to a Dodge game on Sunday. Like I said, going to be flying back early Sunday morning and head to Dodge game. So, uh, but it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be a good weekend. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, but I think the Blue Jays are... Um, I think I don't remember who they're playing. Like I, this weekend? Yeah, I don't remember. <clears throat> Let me see here. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check, okay? Oh, they're playing the Nationals. Oh. Okay, yeah, they're playing the Nationals. And who are the Nationals from? Oh, Washington. Washington, Washington Nationals. Nationals. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be playing the Nationals. <coughs> so... We'll see how that game goes. Hopefully, uh, Dodgers can pull it off, obviously. Hopefully so, too. Um, so, what else was I going to talk about? So, I'll be doing that this weekend. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm mad at myself right now. And yeah, you, yeah, that's because you keep chewing on me, too. No, I, I, I knew what I did as soon as I put it in my mouth. Because I know I'm going to have to chew on it, you know? Gosh darn it. Well, we're 10 minutes into this talk show, guys. Shout out to you guys for watching this talk show right now. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday afternoon, Monday evening so far. I just threw that over there so I don't have to chew on their mental, you know what I mean? So I can stop myself, you know what I mean? So, Zach, um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Well, I guess I could talk about the cars that were out yesterday. Now, before I do so, though, I did check on the website earlier, and they still haven't 
updated the website yet. I watched it's May 6th. I know it's May 6th, but I think they're having some kind of problem or something. Like trying to put the list of cars in. I mean, they do have problems with their website sometimes. I mean, it does happen. Like just any other social media. But... but Okay, go ahead. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Go ahead. Okay, so, but the cars that were out yesterday was the 1951 Packard, 300, uh, a 61 Thunderbird, and a 63 Ford Falcon. Those were the you. cars that were out yesterday. So, I would, I would, well, see, I'm not going to the museum this weekend anyway, because I'm going to a Dodger game. Right. But, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing updated yet. Hey, I get these, and I know we get these emails all the time, and I even get them on my social media every now and then that we get messages about uh, from race teams wanting to get a sponsor for Lombard Bros Gaming. Yeah. Just had another one right now for this upcoming weekend in Kansas. So, um, but uh, I guarantee you that's going to cost a lot of money and stuff. Yeah. And a hint uh, is from a cup team, too. So, okay. um, so. Uh, anyway, so, um, I don't know, that's what I just read, you know, I just, like, but whatever, but, um, what was it, <coughs> then, you know what, I, I mean, I was worse, um, last week, but, or I was worse yesterday, but, like, the last three days, I just been on this coughing, all weekend. I was on this coughing, just cough, 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 cough. You oh, know? yeah, speaking of cough. Like... But, but, today is a little bit better, but like, like, Jesus. So like, because the coughing is usually the last bit when you're sick, you know, because you're trying to get all of the mucus and the, the, the illness out of you, you know. But, it just <clears throat> won't go away. But it's getting slightly better each day. But it's like, dang it, go away. I've been swinging and chugging on that day quill, night quill mm -hmm. every day. And and I also <coughs> I also have a vaporizer in my room right now. Yeah. You know? But oh. See when I was see when I was sick, there are some nights where during the middle of the night I end up having coughing spells. Well, because and you know what? It's a good point because mom pointed this out before too. So like when you're like laying down and it's worse and maybe you agree or disagree with me on this, but it's worse when you first get up in the morning and when you're about to go to bed well, because yeah. you're laying there and it's just settling in. Like it's just, it's just like it's settled in there. You're not like, especially throughout the night when you're sleeping, all that settles through and, um, you're not coughing in the middle of the night or stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Because it's, it's just selling in there. And then once you get up in the morning, it's like, uh, uh, you know, all that selling in, you're just coughing all that out. So. Oh, yeah, I've had that too. So, yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> but, uh, so I went to a party yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, last night, I should say. It was a good time. Oh, um, did you check the microwave? Uh, no, I have not. No, it's cake in there. And it's yours. Oh. I, I had two slices of cake yesterday, or last night. Oh, well then, well, you came over to my house this morning. Why didn't you bring it? <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't think about it, you know. Yeah. And I, you know what, I thought about it while I was over there at one point. That, <clears throat> I just forgot about it, but it's that cake that you like. Yeah. Well, remind me to get it before I leave. Yeah, I'll have to. <coughs> Dang it, I need uh, water or something, Jesus. Let me guess, it's like... Two layers of mm -hmm. different it's, flavors. It's the chocolate and the vanilla. Okay. But with, with the chocolate icing, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's that cake. Um, they also had cheesecake there yesterday. Of course, it's regular cheesecake, but the crust, crust at the bottom part was was bits of Oreos. Oh, really? Like, it was Oreo crumbs. Oh, And stuff, wow. I'm like, oh, that looks good. But I ended up having uh, the uh, chocolate cake instead, you know, the, the cake. Yeah. And stuff. Uh, got to play beer pong for the first time, except I didn't drink the beer. Oh, okay. I just uh, drank some water. <laughs> I just had water to uh, to uh, count us my sips with, you know, and stuff. 
Um, have you seen what beer pong is like? I know what it looks like. Yeah. But uh, I played that for the first time. I said I didn't do a beer because I can't. Ha well, one, I can't have that because of my condition, you know. So I, so they were like, you can do water. I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do water, you know. I'm cool with that. Staying hydrated. And I was, I was kicking butt too. I was doing pretty well. I was doing pretty well at first, and then all of a sudden, the other team just started doing better. They started figuring it out. It's like, ah, this is close. But no, so yeah, it's water pong. Let's just call it that. Okay. Of course, the other people were drinking beer and stuff. Actually, no, one other person was also drinking water too. Oh, okay. So, so you weren't the only one. No, nah, I wasn't the only one. Okay. But uh, no, that, that's a fun game. Um, you know, you throw these um, <clears throat> ping pong balls into like the plastic party cups. So, of course, you sort them out like a bowling, um, you know how like you line up the bowling pins? Yeah. Same thing with the cops. Do that. <clears throat> I did better because I was sober. No, no, they, they were a um, few people that played it last night too. Mm -hmm. And even when they were <clears throat> joining stuff, they were doing pretty good too. It's, it's not that hard to throw a ball straight, you know? I mean... Sometimes it is. The hardest part about that game, though, is because when we were playing outside, the wind was picking up at some point. Like, it was just a little bit of wind. Also, you see, like, the ping pong ball going like this, or it, like, stop, kind of, you know? Yeah. So it was like, oh, man. <coughs> but, um, but no, it was, it was a fun game. Played it for the first time. It was fun. Water pong, to me, it was. But, uh, but, uh, you know, it's it was a good party, good time. I'm glad you um, had fun. By the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it was my friend's birthday party yesterday. It was actually his birthday yesterday. I've been friends with him for a very long time, and he just turned 24 yesterday. So, um, and of course, he's been in my videos before. I'm talking about Jesse. You guys have seen Jesse in my videos before. Uh, that's who I'm referring to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good birthday. Good birthday. Um, so, you know, uh, he's, I guess, uh, he's done with college for now, uh, and he's gonna be down here for a while, I think he's gonna be down here at least for the next couple of years, and then he's gonna head back up to college to get his master's degree, Oh. Okay. Uh, cause he wants to be an accountant, and he's actually working at a place that does accounting stuff, so, right now, right. so, um, so it looks like things are going well for him, but, um, <clears throat> I told him, I asked him, when are you gonna... Did my chair just went down by itself? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. My chair just literally went down two inches by itself. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, okay, let me... Okay. You good now? I, I hope so. It just went down two inches by itself. I'm not even kidding. But, uh, what? It's full here. How am I full? It went down two inches by itself. You didn't see it? No. <laughs> Gosh. It, it literally, I felt it. I felt myself going down. Felt about two inches. But uh, anyway, so he's trying to be a count. But like said, he's going to be down here just for a couple couple more years. And then he's going to go back up for his master's. Okay. Which, you know, you kind of need that if you want to be a count. Yeah. But that's what he's working for right now. So it's good. It looks like things are going well. But then he's like... Seems like things are going well for you, Just I'm like, yeah, just busy all the time, just traveling all the time. <clears throat> so, uh, just whatever, but it's okay. You know, you do something you love, and you have no reason to complain, you know? Oh, yeah. As long as you're doing something that you love, and you enjoy doing, you know? Um, but I asked him last night, too, when are you going to come over to my house, man? He's like, well, I work Monday through Friday, but weekends I'm free, so I'll let you know. A weekend, and I'm like, well, I'll let you know a weekend too because I don't know when I'm gonna be out of town as well, you know. So has he ever been to your new house yet? No, he's been he's been busy. He's been oh, okay and stuff. Yeah. So, but anyways, it was a good party yesterday. Can complain. Um, so I think it's time to get Jagger Jones on. So let's uh, bring us up here. So guys, we're gonna get Jagger Jones on right now. Shout out to you guys for tuning in today. Hope everyone's having a wonderful uh, Monday. So far, just give me just a minute, guys, while I get Jagged Jones on the line. Even though Monday is a day of sadness. 
All right. All right. Let's get Jack and Jones on. Let's get them on the line right now. Jagger? Hello. Hello? Yeah, is this Jagger? Yes, this is. Yeah, what's going on, man? Not much. How, how are you? Good. Uh, doing, good. doing pretty well. Uh, first off, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time today, buddy. Um, I know I talked to you before, did an interview with you before I went to Irwindale, but I thought I'd do one again for you here. So, uh, well, first off, Jagger, what's been going on with you recently? I know you got a K&N race coming up this weekend. Yeah, I actually just got back from uh, Mexico this weekend. I was down there racing Nora 1000. So I was down there all last week in Baja, and that went, uh, it was pretty awesome. It was a great event. Um, we actually broke, unfortunately, on the fourth day out of five days of racing. But now that I've got back, I mean, this week, just all focus towards uh, Saturday night in Tucson for the k and race. Awesome, man. Well, I do want to... Uh, have these fans that are watching right now give a chance to know more about you. I know uh, I did like an interview with you before, but for the people that does not know, uh, so how did you get involved in racing and who was your inspiration to get started? Yeah, so ever since I was really little, since two, well, even since I was born, I've been around racing. My grandpa was Parnelli Jones, who won the, has been racing for many of decades and he actually won the Indy 500 back in 1963 and then he inspired or kind of influenced my uncle and my dad to get into racing and then my dad PJ had has raced everything from NASCAR, IndyCar, off-road, sports cars so so since I was little I was just with my dad, my uncle, my grandpa, I've just been around the racetrack and um I would say my whole family, my uncle, my dad, and my grandpa have kind of been my inspirations. Um, I really looked up to everything they've done and then all that they've taught me. And it's really inspired me to become a race car driver. And so now I'm just trying to live out my dream. Awesome, man. Well, this is your first year in the Canaan series, your rookie year. Uh, but you've done many late mile races as well. Uh, so what um, – so – when did uh, I would say, um, how has the uh, K N N, uh, so how has the K N N been for you so far? Like, um, has it been enjoyable? And uh, what are you uh, looking forward to uh, before the season's over? Like, uh, what are you wanting? To, obviously, every driver wants to go out there and win races and championships. But what what other goals do you have in mind that you want to accomplish before the season's over? Yeah, so like you said, last year, I, or the last two years, I've been racing late models. Um, even before that, I, I've been racing since I was about nine. I raced go-karts, and then I moved to legends, then to late models uh, for the last two years. And then um, this year is my first year in the K&N series. So um, it's been, so far, it's been a pretty good transition, I would say. Um, I almost won the very first race out in Vegas, ended up finishing second. Um, and then Irwindale, we ran we didn't run amazing, but we ran pretty well. Um, I was able to get a top five, finish fourth. So that was a decent night for my first uh, pavement race in the K&N. So um, I think that's it's been a really uh, good start, good transition. Um, I'm just looking forward to uh, kind of getting more comfortable in the car, learning a little bit more about the differences between a late model, the heavier car, um, the different tires, the the longer races all of that kind of stuff so still still wouldn't say i'm perfected anything yet but uh definitely have had a good season so far and like you said for what you asked about my goals so of course i want to go out and win races and i think i even have a good chance to win the championship i'm i'm a rookie i don't have a ton of experience in the series but i think if i can just continue to learn continue to improve um from where we started the season i'm sitting third in points right now only two points behind first so i think i've got a good shot at that 
and I'm not I'm not just going to go out there and points race though. I want to win. Um, the more wins, the better. That's my main goal. Um, and then also, rookie of the year would be pretty cool. So um, if I could just knock off three or four wins, that would be pretty awesome for a rookie season. Right on. So the you mentioned about the transition between the late model and a stock car. Uh, so what what has been the challenges between the two cars, uh, driving a late mile and a K and N car, uh, ain't what ain't challenges to the transition. Um, there's been, I wouldn't necessarily say challenges, but definitely things to adjust to, um, a late model. It's less horsepower, a little bit of a lighter car. So you really got to keep your momentum up versus the K and N car. You you're going faster at the end of the straightaway. So you have to use more brakes getting into the corner because you really don't have much more grip than a late model i'd say so you got to use a lot of brakes but um but the less like all pretty much all of racing goes the less brakes the bread but the better so the less heat in the brakes less heat in the front tires so just kind of working on using as little brakes as possible to get the car slowed down and really roll the corner speed um considering the faster entry speeds into the corner that has been something i've been working on um uh, with my braking and just just little stuff like that. Um, the K N car feels you feel like more of a race car in my opinion than a late model. The late model, um, of course, it's a race car, but the K N car, the it's louder, it's got more horsepower. Um, it really just feels uh, it's a really cool car to drive. Awesome. Well, I do. Uh, so, what has been the um the reputation and the, the respect you gain from your race team uh, with uh, uh, Sun, Sunshine Ford, um, you know, Sunrise, yeah, God, I don't know why I keep, I always say Sunrise or sun, Sunshine for a reason, um, but uh, what has been the, uh, uh, how has working with that team been for you and what kind of relationship have you uh have you gained and what kind of respect you gained from the race team? Yeah, for sure. So when I came to the team, uh, we kind of worked out this deal only a couple months ago, probably three months ago or so. So they definitely knew, knew who I was, um, from my family history a little bit. My dad raced against my crew chief, Bill Sedwick, um, a little bit in the past. So he's known him from that, but as a driver, they didn't really know me. They saw that I've won a lot of races at, a lot of late model races, but that doesn't mean too much to them. Got to kind of prove to your new team that you can drive. And I think they may have had a little doubt in the beginning, kind of not even doubt, just a little uncertainty of um, what I could achieve in the cars. But I think going out there in Vegas, um, almost getting them a win, my very first start in the K&N series, uh, kind of set a pretty good um, example of uh, what I could achieve. And then going out and finishing fourth, that was also a good night. Um, considering we missed a little bit with the setup and also um, just all of that and then just developing a good relationship with uh, my crew chief Bill, uh, my the owner Bob, um, and all the guys on the team, and my spotter Ryan, of course. That's always really important. And I think so far we've, uh, we've come very far from the beginning of the season in only two races. But um, so – uh, just to improve that relationship between all of them um, and then just go out there, do the best I can. I think that'll just breed good results and that'll just really help the relationship between um, all of us. So I obviously two races is in the books for you already this season. You guys are heading out to Tucson this weekend. Um, who have you been... Uh, have Are you... Uh, you and your team been watching the other drivers and the other teams on how uh, how they get around the race track. Are you learning from them as well, or are you guys just uh, doing your own thing and hopefully it works out? And who do you think is your biggest competition that you're going to be facing this year? Yeah, so of course you try to focus on your own program because that's what you have the most influence into and the most important to make you go run fast, but you definitely pay attention to some of the other competition um, as much as sometimes you don't want to and sometimes it helps. But uh, I think if we can just focus on ourselves, getting our cars the best we can um, and really focusing on uh, maximizing our stuff 
will be will give us the best results. But of course, you got to pay attention to um, all the Bill McNally cars. They have good good cars, good drivers. Um, they're really on the probably our biggest competition, I'd say. And um, but there's also other guys that can win, especially at Tucson. Like we saw, like you guys saw Cody Vanderwall go out and win both races there last year. So um, with the whole Tucson deal, I, myself, I need to go watch some, uh, or I've been watching some video and from the races last year and the ones prior. So uh, that's always really important. Learn from the best guys in those races, see what they did, uh, try to replicate, duplicate that uh, myself. Because I've actually never been to Tucson before, and I've never raced there, so uh, it'll definitely be a little learning c- curve on Friday night in practice. But I, I don't think it'll be too uh, tricky. It's a pretty uh, general, pretty normal track. So um, yeah, there's definitely in competition. I think Derek and Haley will be um, really good. They'll be pretty consistent, pretty uh, fast, just about every racetrack. And then my teammate Trevor, he's going to be hard to beat. He ran really well at Irwindale, and he's got a uh, season under his belt. So, um, yeah, those those guys for sure. Sounds good. Well, um, I I do want to give uh, my viewers a chance to ask you some questions. I'm going to read them out to you. So, uh, fans, if you guys have any questions for Jagger, uh, feel free to comment in the chat, and I will read them out to him. But if you guys want to follow uh, Jagger Jones on his social media, he's got Facebook. Twitter, Instagram is right there in the chat. You guys can check it out, follow him, keep up with him in his racing career. Uh, so, um, so obviously we um, uh, we do got a question here. Obviously, um, we I already know what how you got involved in racing and stuff, but um, but when when at what moment I would say did you wanted to be a race car driver like? Like, did somebody, obviously, did your grandfather, somebody, uh, really got you into it? Or were you, did you get the interest in it yourself? Yeah, I, I always showed interest in cars and racing. I, when I was little, like five, from the age of about four or five, I'd always sit there, um, watch all the NASCAR races from start to finish. And, uh, so I always showed a huge interest in racing. Um, and then I, I think I was, I was about six when I got my very uh, first my first go kart, and I liked it, but I, I wasn't like too into it. And um, we went out every, about once a month and went and just drove, didn't do any racing. And then I was about nine, or I think it was my ninth or ninth birthday. My dad bought me a, a new go kart, a faster, uh, like the next size up for my age. And I went out. He bought it, and he's like, "All right, there's a race on Saturday." Should we should we enter? Should we do it here at my uh, local track in Phoenix? And I was, of course, I was up for that. Um, and then I went out there. I raced. I didn't do very well. I think I got lapped actually in my very first race. But it was only like my second time driving that cart. But from there on, we started practicing more, going to the track more, and I really loved it. And then within the next couple of months, I I think I won my very first uh, regional karting race. So. It was about in that area when I about nine ten when I really was like, all right, this is what I want to do. So, what is your favorite racetrack that you've ever competed on, or like um, your favorite track racing wise that obviously you have not raced on, but you would hopefully love to race there eventually? Um, I would say my favorite uh, oval track that I've gone to would be Kern. Um, I just, I don't, I just like the high speeds, the banking, uh, kind of the elevation change and how you feel like you're going downhill, going into turn three. It's a really cool racetrack. Um, other tracks that stand out to me, I think the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is such a historic place. I could not mention that. Um, I think that's, I love, I went, I've been to the Indy 500 a couple of times and just, just going there, watching the race takes your breath away. So I'd love to race there one day. Um, and then I also went to a lot, I went, I went and raced in Europe for two years in, uh, go-karts and I went a lot of, went to a lot of cool tracks over there, like the kart track at Le Mans, um, a lot, a lot of tracks in Italy. Those tracks are super nice. They've got like full restaurants at the racetrack. They're pretty crazy for go-kart tracks. So just, I think pretty much I, 
there's no bad racetracks. Any if you're at a racetrack, it's a good time. It's pretty awesome. So, but those are the ones that stand out to me. Awesome. Well, all right. Next question: uh, Does does your father still race today, or is he retired and basically he's just working with you now? He actually does still race. Like he went last week. When I, like I said before, we went down and raced. I raced in uh, Mexico for the Nora One Thousand race. He raced another car. He actually ended up winning, so he won the Nora One Thousand in the UTV class uh, last week. So he does a lot of off road racing still. Um, he he does a lot of that. He races some stadiums, the Robbie Gordon Stadium Super Trucks. He does a little bit of that still, but he he doesn't do any too much more NASCAR or any of that racing. But he's still uh, pretty involved in the off road scene. Awesome. Well, uh, Jagger, um, I, before you go, first off, I do appreciate the time you're taking today to be with on our show and uh, letting the fans know more about you. And uh, But last question I got to ask you, is there anybody you got to thank for your racing career and your opportunities? Yeah, for sure. Just um, all my friends and family, for sure, they've done so much for me, helping me out as much as they can, and especially – to Bob Rincotti for the opportunity he gave me at Sunrise Ford. Um, that means a lot to me that he believed in me um, to put me in one of his K&N cars. So that's been really cool. And then my crew chief, Bill, for everything he does. Uh, my spotter, Ryan Partridge. Uh, my mom, my dad. And then all my sponsors uh, and supporters from XYO Network. If you guys haven't heard of them, go check them out. Really cool company. They're doing a lot of cool things. Uh, Method Race Wheels, Best Off-Road Wheels, um, Easy Cut CNC, Alpine Stars, Arai Helmets, um, and just everyone else that's helped me. Awesome. Well, Jagger, um, I do appreciate the time you took today to be on the show. I thank you for that. And uh, good luck to you this weekend out in uh, Tucson, Arizona. I will be out there this weekend uh, for the races, and definitely I'll – stop by and um say hello to you out there too but uh but um other than that like i said best of luck to you this weekend i'll see you out there on on saturday and uh and uh good luck in the race well thank you um thanks for having me on the show and i'll see you there this weekend yeah take care man all right you too bye yeah. jagger jones the rookie driver of the nascar k n pro series west for some uh sunrise ford racing in the number six car, um, like uh, he, like say, he said, he finished second out in, Ve in Vegas in his first race, and then his second race ever in Irwindale, um, he finished fourth. So um, I'll be out there this weekend to watch him race, but also watch the entire race, watch the other drivers go out there and compete uh, Saturday night out in Tucson. But I do want to thank him for taking the time today, and uh, best of luck to him this weekend out in Tucson. So... He mentioned um, that, you know, his grandfather raced a long time ago, and he won the Indy 500 back in 1963 and stuff, which that's pretty cool that his grandfather is one of the winners for the Indy 500, the, the most biggest race of the year. And by the way, the Indy 500 is coming up on May 26th. Definitely, I'll be watching that as well. So it'll be the 103rd Indy 500, uh, something that got started back in a, <coughs> sorry about that, something that got started back in night, uh, um, back in the 1900s, really a long time ago, um, of course track was open in 1909, so, uh, but, um, I believe that's when the first race was, was 1909, so, pretty, uh, long history right there, but that's pretty cool, like I said, as grandfather's an Indy 500 winner, and, of course, he did mention the transition between driving a late mile car to a stock car. Very different. Obviously, the K&N car he mentioned has more horsepower. Um, need a, it's a little tougher, a little faster. Um, you know, you can't drive in it as deep as you can with a late mile car. But, um, but so far in this rookie year, he said he's third in points. He's only two points back. Um, I believe Haley Deegan is still holding on to the points lead right now in the K&N Pro West Series. And then I believe uh, it might be Derek Krause that might be second in points right now. I have to double-check on that. But uh, 
Uh, but anyways, uh, doing fairly well for his rookie season. We'll see what he can do out in Tucson, Arizona this weekend. So if you guys want to follow uh, Jagger Jones on his social media, he's got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. He's also got a YouTube channel as well. So check him out on all those social media sites. It is in the chat right now. Maybe uh, my mom will put him in the chat again so you guys can uh, check it out. Like I said, follow him. Keep up to date with him. He's a pretty cool guy. I Like I said, I met up with him um, a few weeks back out in Irwindale for the k and race. Very chill guy. Um, but when he's in the race car, he's ready to go. And that's with every, most of the drivers, you know. Um, they, like, they can, like, outside the race car, they're, they can be crazy, wild, goofy, normal people. But as soon as they get into that race car, they change. It, they flip a switch. And they get serious. It means business. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, we'll see what Jack and Jones can do in this rookie year. Obviously, two races under his belt. And uh, hopefully, he can make us run for the championship this season. Uh, once it come down to ISM Raceway in November. But, uh, so, now that we... <coughs> so, now that we got 18 minutes left for the show... Um, Anything else you want to talk about right now? Anything else you got in mind? Oof. Obviously, you can't talk about this weekend's car. Well, actually, you won't be at the museum this weekend anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, really but if you matter. were, you can't really tell us anything because the website ain't update, huh? No. So, um, so anyways. Were you checking? Yeah, I'm checking something real quick. Just oh, it says here... Please call the museum the thir the Thursday before b before to get the ride list. Wait, so that was huh? I don't know. <coughs> now, did they did that mean last Thursday or? I, I wonder. I wonder if that's a weekly thing. Like, uh, if you want to know what the cars are for this weekend, you have to call in by Thursday. You know, I guess. I guess that's what it means, you know? Because it, it didn't say, like, Thursday, May 2nd, or May 9th, you know? Yeah. So I wonder if that's every Thursday? Yeah, I well, I, I believe so. Probably. Um, but that's that's interesting. I don't know why. <coughs> I don't Wait. know if that's a new thing they're going to do, that you have to call. But I don't, <coughs> if that's the case, I don't know why they're wanting to do that. And instead of putting the cars list on the website, because like people can know week or two or three weeks in advance uh -huh. to know if their favorite cars are going to be out, and then they can go on that day. But like, um, but you have to call in. Yeah, I I just think that just makes it harder on them. Just do like just put the list on there, you know. If you were running the website, what would you do? Would you rather let people call you to know about the list, or would if you were the owner of the website? Would you put the list of cars and the schedule, or but the do you rather do call in? List. That's what I, I, I wonder. If they may be just doing that temporarily, though. I if it, if they were like trying something new, hopefully it's temporary. You know, because I think in my opinion, I would rather just do the list. I think this is just temporarily. Yeah, I mean, who knows? You know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, do you know who's the owner of the website? Like, do you know who runs the website? There? Uh, well, it, <coughs> well, usually what? it's other people. There's other people that works on the website too. Oh, so it's, I, it's not just one person, right? Oh, okay. I didn't know because, like, um, I just figured maybe you know somebody that runs the website and stuff. Have you seen anybody changing the website? Like while no. you were there? No. No. Huh. I guess they mostly do their changes during the week, huh? Yeah, that's when they usually okay. do. During the week, I mean, I assume they um, they uh, respond to emails and uh, stuff. You know? However, the museum is closed today because it's always closed on Mondays. So right. they may they may put the list in tomorrow for all we for all I know. Maybe, but they but they don't they always do it like the first day of the month of the month or the after the last Sunday of the month. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. So, oh, uh, well, I got gotcha. you. I don't know. I hope that's just a temporary thing. Cause they I, might put the list in tomorrow. Because yeah. I don't think I would want to, like, um, 
uh, like call in all the time, you know, and know what cars are coming out and stuff. Because like you kind of want to know what cars are coming out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you're not gonna be there this weekend, but at least you would still want to know. You know? Right. <clears throat> so maybe they just haven't put a schedule together or like a list together and stuff. So they don't know what they want to do yet, so that's why they haven't put anything up. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Maybe. I know that they won't be open in three weeks from now because the Memorial? Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, so, so it's even gonna be closed even, all weekend. Oh, even even the even the weekend of Memorial Day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I know, I mean, they're closed on Mondays anyways. So right. Not like it matters because Memorial Day is on Monday, but so it's basically a three day weekend for them. Must be nice. No way. It's going to be a three-day weekend for yeah, us, too. Yeah, yeah, It's going to be a three-day weekend for us, too. Thank God. But that's not doing it. Three <coughs> weeks, though. Dang it. Yeah, so, guys, on May 27th, that Monday, will be Memorial Day. We will not be having a talk show on Memorial Day. Uh, we're having... We're going to have no talk show. We will be back the following week in June. Um, but... Um, but that would be in three weeks from today. So... Um, there was something else I want to talk about. So, chat, what's been going on with you guys? Um, what did you guys do during the weekend? How was your weekend? What are you guys going to be doing on Mother's Day weekend? <laughs> Zach, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just yawning. Yeah? Yeah. Eating at Burger King. Oh, I had Burger King the other day, cause Grace wanted it. You know. Yeah. I got sick from it. My stomach didn't didn't do well with Burger King. Yeah, I can't eat Burger King. I either. I cannot eat Burger King. I'm sorry. I like every time I eat Burger King, I get sick from it. And mainly is my stomach. I think it's because the one we have out here doesn't do good service. Either that or it's just bad in general. I can't. I can't. I can't uh I can't eat Burger King. I just can't. I don't know. I, I, I think I rarely go, you know. But uh it's whatever. But um So let's see, it rained all weekend. Uh saw Endgame yesterday, finally. And I were up at my famous cottage getting it ready for the summer, okay. Uh let's see. Food poisoning over the weekend. I don't know. I guess the bacon on the breakfast pizza for lunch on Friday wasn't cooked. Oh, yeah. You want good bacon. You want good crispy bacon. You want it cooked, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, buying outdoor tickets and pit passes. Nice. 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 Um, but, yeah. But, <coughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, <coughs> you all right? I just want this cough to go away, man. You know? Yeah. I know it's going away, but it's like, when is it actually going to stop, you know? Like, please. I guess it doesn't stop unless it wants to. I guess. Like, for God's sakes, right? Trust me, I went through that, too. I don't get it. Ay, 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 ay. But, uh, guys, we got ten minutes left of the talk show. Hope you guys are enjoying the talk show sh so far. Shout out to you guys. Thank you all for tuning in today, but we got ten minutes left of the talk show. Uh, so far, so good. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah, getting sick is not fun. No. Not it's not what all. I like at all. So, hopefully, um, hopefully I can stop being sick. That would be lovely. Hopefully, allergy season will go away. Right. Same here. Hate it. Yeah, same. I don't, I don't like it either. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? What is it? I'm just... No, I was just looking at something. Never mind. I thought I saw something weird. I thought I saw something weird. Oh, 
Ooh. Hold on. Very important right here, guys. Oh, it's an important thing? Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about right now, Sec? So, hopefully, even though it's still allergy season going on, hopefully not too much of you has been getting sick like, like we have. I know Mike on chat here has been sick, well, basically due to food poisoning. But, yeah, I hate allergy season, hate it so much. It usually happens, like, I'm guessing February, May, I guess. Yeah. Oh, um, what, what happens in May? No, like, through February to May is usually allergy season. Yeah, but here's the thing. Ever since I, uh, we got this house, I've been sick three or four times. Mm. I think one of those times were allergies, though. So I'll give it that. Um, but... I got sick in, like, towards the end of December. I got sick around uh, the first part of March. Um, and then I got sick a couple weeks ago, recovered from that for, like, a couple of days. And then I start coughing again. It's like, dang it. Mm. You know, I just can't get over it. Um, sup, Darian? Uh, hope everything's well with you, buddy. Um, yeah, Jagger's already been on, dude. Uh, he was on for a good 20 minutes. Um, we've already spoke to him, but uh, uh, it was a good interview. Uh, but yeah, you just missed it, buddy. Um, so, man, you know, has when do new games come out? Man, hopefully soon. We need some games, new games coming out and some good ones. I mean, the only good one I know is coming up uh, soon is Crash Team Racing um, that I'll enjoy. You know, the remastered. Yeah. Um, but most of the games don't come out till in the fall. That's what kind of sucks around this time of the year. You know, is like not a lot of new games comes out. I mean, every now and then May, but uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, just uh, not right now, huh? Right. But hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, so... We got a few minutes left of the talk show. Um, um, ew, hold on a second. This is important. I'll be back. Talk. Talk to them. All right. Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, the reason why he didn't go through this way is because there's a cord dangling down here that he can't get through. But anyways, I do have something to talk about. You guys think... Cars in the future will have automatic seatbelts again. I know there I know there's been automatic seatbelts back in the past. It was like it only lasted from the late eighties up to the mid nineties. Mostly in like Japanese build cars, like such as Hondas, Toyotas, Nissans, Hondas, you name it. Even though some American cars like Ford no way. Yeah, Ford. I do remember that the early to mid-90s Ford Thunderbirds Escorts had automatic seatbelts. And I know back in the early 90s, like Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Hondas, and uh, oh god, what else? Ah, let's see, what else had automatic seatbelts back then? Hmm. I think Acura did, Infinity, Lexus did, yeah, that's what they did. But I do believe there is a reason why they took back, took away automatic seatbelts forever. It's because I think people have been struggling with them a lot back then. Again, it, again, I say automatic seatbelts in cars only lasted from the late '80s up to the mid '90s. So they haven't done automatic seatbelts in over 20 years now. But, let's see. Early 90s, Toyotas had automatic seatbelts like the Camry, the Corolla. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's see. The Cressida. Honda Accords had them. Honda Civics had them. Uh, let's see. 
uh, Nissan. So like the Maxima stanza. Oh God, what's the one? Oh, what's that one other car? The Sentra. Okay, all right. Let's see. Honda's, Toyota's, Nissan, Lexus. Lexus LS four hundred, I believe, had automatic seat belts. But uh, hmm. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to think of another car that had automatic seatbelts. I, I see Acura Legend had automatic seatbelts. Of course, Hondas like the Sonata, Excel, the Scoop. I don't know if you guys even remember the Hyundai Scoop. That hasn't been made in over in about almost 25 years now. It's pretty much a pretty very rare car nowadays. You really don't see this a lot anymore. Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Ah. Uh, but yeah. I don't think automatic seatbelts will be coming back in the future at all. Hey. Hey. Sorry about that, guys. What were you guys chatting about? Uh, automatic seatbelts back in the past. There's a, what? Huh? Automatic seatbelts in cars back in the past. It was? Yeah, it only lasted throughout the late 80s up to the mid 90s, though. How did that work out? Like, like, how did that work? Like, the on my seatbelts. Well, it, it usually works when you have the car on or started. Like, whenever you open the door, the seatbelt usually goes down like this. But then when you close the door, it goes like that. I'm surprised that was a 1980s thing and not like a today thing, you know? I mean, who knows? Maybe that will happen in the future. It, <clears throat> you, it basically happened in Japanese built cars like Toyotas, Hondas, Nissans, Hondas. Right, but you would never thought those kind of ventures would happen in 1980s. You would think some of that would happen today. I mean, who knows? Maybe in the future, like I said. But that's... I, I never knew about that. Well, they okay. did. Wow. On Max seatbelts. Man, how come we don't have that today? What happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? There's... Obviously, the reason why they took them out forever. They haven't done them in over 20 years now. Oh, obviously. But why, why did they take them out? Uh, because people had been st struggling with them. Like in... Uh, like, like, sometimes they would malfunction. Like, they would stop working. <coughs> oh, like it wouldn't work here? What if it was like... What if you couldn't get the seatbelt off? Did that happen, or... Yeah, there is actually it... a clip where you can actually take it off, though. Up on the top of the thing, a clicker, oh. that you can take it off. So that's at least a good thing. Just oh, I, did, I hope it didn't get to the point where, like, like it's stuck on you and you can't get it off of you. and Or it's, like, it's, be, it's becoming a problem. Yeah. It, you know? Yeah. That's what I mean. That's why they took those away forever. Well, uh, hmm, maybe in the future. Maybe they'll try it again. Who Make knows? some improvements on Who those. Knows? We never I just, know. I just didn't think that would be a 1980s kind of thing, you know? Yeah, again, <coughs> late late 80s up to the mid-90s. I see. Well, I think um, that's going to end the talk show today, huh? Yep. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed this Lombard Bros talk show right here on the Lombard Bros Gaming YouTube channel. Next Monday, our next guest is going to be... Uh, Trevor Huddleston, he is also a NASCAR k and Pro West Series driver, and he's also Jagger Jones' teammate as well. He's going to be joining us uh, next week, guys, so we'll have him on. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Justin Lombardi, AKA, and 2 sc 4 We're Zachary Lombardi, AKA, Magnum 5. You have a great rest of your day, and bye-bye.